Hello everyone, this is Jerry and welcome back to part 12 of this mini-series for ESO's Markarth chapter. Today we will be trying to stop Rod Alceron and the Ori. So let's see about that one. Thrandus, the Ori won't slow down! Ah, oh, my friend, your timing is perfect. Get to the far platform and throw the switch. It will take all of us to stop this infernal machine. And we're good, I hope. We did it, my friends. Now tell me, what of Lady Belaine? Uh, more importantly, what of Radal Saran? Don't tell me he's still kicking, I mean... Just means he'll be a future problem, I guess. If you hadn't arrived when you did, Wendis and I would not have been able to power down the orrery. <clears throat> Thank you. But tell me, what of Arana and Lady Belaine? I could feel them. It was like a battle in the darkness. Lady Belaine took me to the Dark Heart Chamber. Arana arrived. She helped me defeat Belaine. So it was Belaine's death I felt in the darkness. Father was right. For some reason, the connection I have to the Dark Heart is strong. But there was something else. Another sensation. Where's Arana, my friend? Arana said Namira suppressed her wounds so she could defeat Belaine. After the battle, she died. Arana, dead. That's another soul lost to the void. Between her and those that perished at Markarth, the Dark Heart ate well this day. I'd like you to return to Understone Keep. Tell Ard Kadok that despite what we have lost, Markarth is safe. I'll tell Ard Kadok the news. Tell Ard Kadok the news. I want to study this machine a little longer. Something here will shed light on Rodder's purpose. I know Rodder won't rest until he saves the Grey Host from its ancient curse. No matter what that means for the rest of us. What exactly did Rada Elseron accomplish here? Rada used the orrery to focus the void energy. He created a portal to travel somewhere, but the specific destination eludes me. He did say he needed to gather his exarchs, the original warlords of the Grey Council, the leaders of the Grey Host. So the Grey Host is still a threat? An immediate one? No, I don't think so. With Rada gone and Lady Belaine dead, the Grey Host forces here in the Reach will eventually break up and fade into the shadows. But Radal Saran is still out there, though. Yes, but he's finished with Markarth and the Reach. I think he got what he wanted from the Orrery and the Dark Heart. At least for now. Don't worry. I'll figure out what else he has planned, and together we will deal with it. When the time is right. All right. Well... I don't know, he could also be a raid boss, and I don't even know it. Does this game do raids? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know if this game does do- I assume it does? I mean, it's an MMO. It has to. I've just never had a high enough level character to really know, I guess? Um. Head to Markarth. Speak with Art Kadak. I'm really hoping this isn't the end. I was not expecting this to be the conclusionary episode. Like I was really hoping we were gonna take on Radal Saran. But I guess we will see. So if this is the end, this is going to be a real short episode. <laughs> I might just add a harrow storm in just to fill up time, I guess. Oh, hopefully Radal Saran just pops up and is like, Ooh, I'm going to kill all y'all. And then I just get to fight him and kill him. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's asking for too much. Uh, 
<sighs> have some good news for me, Ard Kadak. And by that I mean Rod Al Saran is in there with you or something. I like how dead bodies are still just all over the floor and the ground and it's fine they'll 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 get to it eventually I guess. Gonna need a new advisor, <laughs> Ard Kadak. Ah here's one whose report we need. What news? Did you get new shoulder pads? I don't remember them being that we color. We did as you said, Rover. We defended the city and kept our people safe. Then, all of a sudden, the gray host turned and fled. And I barely got to kill a dozen or so of the bastards myself. Uh, do I have you to thank for this unexpected turn of events? Or, you know, maybe he was wearing that. I... I don't know. Arana and I defeated Lady Belaine. Rod Al Saran fled and Veranda stopped the door of the machine. Well, <laughs> that explains everything. Someone will sort out the details and tell them to me later, eh? All that matters is the Grey Hose called off their attack and departed as soon as they lost their leaders. Where's Arana? I want to thank the witch. Mm. Arana died helping me defeat Lady Belaine. Arana promised to stop Lady Belaine. No matter what. Trust a reach witch to make her own words come true. At least it was a good death. Given in a noble cause. And Markarth still stands. We'll remember what Arana did. And we'll remember you as well. Where's the Grey Host now? They scattered and fled. <laughs> Good riddance. Between Arana's wildness and my stone hands, we held them back. And when you cut off the head, they were done with this fight. Uh, there's some cleanup to be done in the wilderness, but nothing we can't handle. And then Markarth is safe. For now. Verandas. We stopped Lady Belaine from gorging the Dark Heart with all the souls of Markarth. But we can't bring back the dead. Still, the heart awakened but never reached full power. We turned back the Grey Host and killed Belaine. That's a victory, my friend. Did you learn anything else from the Orrery? The orrery remains charged with void energy, but the Dark Heart was never completely filled, and it already wanes. That means we denied Radha al-Siran a limitless source of power. Radha may have escaped for the moment, but we will find him. What about the Night Hollow vampires? Any surviving Night Hollow clan members are bound to the Dark Heart. As it wanes, so will they. When you destroyed Lady Belaine, you sealed the doom of her entire clan. That threat is ended forever. Thanks to you and Arana. And do you still sense the Dark Heart? Yes. Whether through the use of the Orrery or some other means, Rada tied the Void Energy to the Grey Host. And due to my past affiliation, that seems to include me. I can feel it. Hear its dark whisper. I need to ponder the implications. Should we go after Rod al Saran now? Soon. For now, savor this victory. The courage of mortals, not some buried relic, is the true heart of the Reach. You've saved countless lives and proved to the Reach folk that not all outsiders are a threat to this land. Rada's time will come. All right. We defeated evil today. An ancient darkness at the very heart of the Reach that threatened to destroy us all. These outsiders stood beside us and made our troubles, our enemies, their own. 
Let them hear our thanks. Look around you, people of the Reach. Markarth still stands. See your fellow Reach folk and know we will always fight for our land and our ways. The time has come, my friend. Let us speak. Oh, well, you know, that was quick for Rondis. I know you've only had a moment's peace, but we must renew our hunt for Radha al Saran with all due haste. The setbacks will not slow Radha for long, and he's likely closer to his true goal than we know. What is Radha al Saran's true goal? That I have yet to determine, but consider what he's wrought thus far. Harrow storms across western Skyrim to revive the Grey Host. Here, the souls of Markarth reaped to empower the Dark Heart. Both great sacrifices. But I fear worse is yet to come. What could be worse than all those deaths? A good question. Despite your success stopping High King Svargrim and Lady Belaine, the reawakening of the Dark Heart has provided the Dwarven Orrery with a frightening source of power. But to what end? I need your help to ascertain the answer. I'll help you. Do you know where we should start looking for Rada al Saran? A moment. Sometimes the intensity of the currents flowing through the darkness can be... overwhelming. There. The Norian reports that Greyhost leaders gather north of Markarth. I believe Rada is there, preparing them for what's to come. The currents flowing through the darkness. It's nothing. I... I don't want to concern the others. Whatever Radha did at the Orrery, it connected the Grey Host to the Dark Heart. And that includes me. Like the souls of Markarth that the Heart consumed, a part of me is caught within the Void. That does not sound good. What does that mean? I don't know. I can feel the Dark Heart's pulse. A throbbing that grows stronger as the Heart becomes more powerful. But it hasn't consumed me. In fact, like Arana and Lady Belaine, I may be able to draw upon it. Though I haven't attempted that yet. Let's go find Rod al Saran. Investigate the Greyhost activity in the foothills north of Markarth, near Bathardams. Fenorian will meet you there. Gwendis and I will return to the Orrery in Arkthazand. Join us once you uncover Rada's plans. What do you hope to find at the Arkthazand, Orrery? It's clear the Orrery plays an integral part in Rada's plans. But the specifics elude me. The Dark Heart, the Orrery, the Harrow Storms, they are all connected. Smaller pieces of a much grander scheme. Of that much I'm certain. I need to learn more. Alright, well. We are not done just yet with this. But I imagine we are getting very close to the end. So we will just out here see which thing is closer to it and we will check out what Rada al Saran is doing now but yeah I'm actually pretty glad that that wasn't the end, because I was like, oh no. I was really worried that I could have just finished this in the last episode. But I'm glad to know that I was wrong. And I really need to sell my inventory. I just realized I'm in the red. Eh, it happens. Not selling inventory is a thing of mine too. <sighs> Bad habits, I swear. the heck are these supposed to be? Oh, that's weird. Brothers and sisters, we are on the cusp of victory. Could you not attack my dog? Thank you. When the dark storm oh, even more. Everything we lost will be returned. Even your life. And the dark storm is that different from a harrow storm? 
mean, I'm guessing so. <laughs> Either way, also, what kind of creatures are these? They are weird. Got some, like, bony talon leg things. It also kind of looks like a beaver slash bear slash... I don't know what else. But it does look weird, and I don't think I've seen one before. Hmm. Damn it! I knew we should have attacked when we had the chance! Ah, gay! My orders were to wait, Lyris. At least Rada left something in his haste. Wait, is that you, partner? Could have used you a moment sooner. Lyris! I am so happy to see you. I was this close to finally planting my axe in Rada al Saran's face. If Ben hadn't insisted we wait for his Raven Watch friends, that monster wouldn't have slipped through our fingers again. You're still on the hunt for him, too, I see. Yes, and where have y'all been this entire chapter? Uh, Veranda sent me, actually. He didn't mention you'd be here, though. When Fen got his orders to investigate the Grey Host, I invited myself along. Sorry about my temper. It's just that we've been shadowing these bastards for a while, and it looked like the opportunity to strike was finally at hand. Did you learn anything while stalking them? Well, Fen's the one keeping notes, but Rada al Saran gathered his subordinates and remaining forces here. It's clear he's preparing to make a move, so Fen sent word to the Raven Watch. I just wish we knew more about this dark storm Rada mentioned. It's a lead, at least. Yeah, a lead that's dragging us in circles. Look, Fen can tell you more. I'm sure he'd love to talk to someone other than me. Brilliant conversation isn't one of my better-known graces, as you've experienced firsthand. Could this dark storm be related to the Harrow Storms of Western Skyrim? Possibly. And I've seen Ice Reach Coven witches among the Grey Host troops. After we dealt with Svargrim and shattered the Grey Host's hold on Western Skyrim, it looks like Rada moved his operation to this part of the world. What about Fen's elixir? Was he able to produce enough for the Holt? It was slow going, but the concoction he and old Mjolin produced was the only reason the Holds were able to start fighting back. Even after we stopped Rada al Saran's plan in solitude, I don't think the Western Holds would have survived without it. How's Fana? Alive and well. She's taken to her role as Jarl of Solitude far better than anyone imagined. The people love her. There's new life in the hold despite all that's happened. I admit, I'm hopeful for the future too, provided we stop Rada al Saran. What's Fen examining over there? You're asking me? No idea. But it's here and so is Rada al Saran, so I guess it's got something to do with whatever he's planning. Yeah, true enough. Let's speak to Fenorian, another person I've missed from, well, Western Skyrim. What? Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. I was fixated on this trinket. When Veranda said he would send someone, I assumed he meant Adusa. We weren't supposed to make a move, but Lyris feared we'd miss our chance. I don't think we ever had one, but don't tell her that. Oh, I'm sure she'd love to hear that if I did tell her. What's so interesting about that trinket? Other than I think it belonged to Rada al Saran, I sense a powerful magic has been cast on the item. Oromancy. I recognize it. The technique is remarkably similar to what Verandas uses. Not surprising, I suppose. They were friends once, after all. What else have you learned while you were tracking the Grey Host? Well, after their defeats in Western Skyrim and the Reach, the Grey Host has regrouped. The ancient Exarchs have arrived and asserted their control over the newer troops. He also intercepted a courier a few days ago. He carried a coded message. Were you able to decipher the coded message? My command of ancient Yokudin is elementary at best. I assumed it had something to do with Harrow Storms, until Rada al Saran mentioned this dark storm. I think he's planning something massive. More massive even than the storm over Solitude. We should take this to Verandas then. He's waiting for us at the Arxan Orrery. We're going to meet Verandas. Right now? I, um... Yes, 
That would be prudent, I suppose. Do I look presentable to you? Befitting of an audience with the Count. I don't imagine there's time for a bath before we head to the orrery. Have you never met the Count before, Fenorian? <laughs> what was that that you mentioned about Oromancy? This trinket Radha al Saran left behind. It radiates a magical residue similar to what Verandas leaves behind when he casts Oromancy. Perhaps you've seen him use it to draw memories from the past. I wonder why Radha al Saran left it here. Seems like you've been busy since I saw you last. Amazingly so. I assisted Svana, Jarl Svana, for a while, helping old Njolin and the Mages Guild produce as much of the Herostorm elixir as we could. But I couldn't linger there forever. I've been tracking the Grey Host ever since. Have you learned anything about their current plans? No. Though I'm hopeful Count Verandas can find something in this coded letter. He's better at ancient languages than I am. I was able to find this meeting site, and I know the Grey Host forces have regrouped under the command of the ancient Exarchs. You seem anxious to see Verandas. Do I? <laughs> Yes, well, I... I suppose it's only natural. I'm returning from my first real assignment and haven't seen Count Veranda since... Well, it was long before I started to investigate the Grey Host. I want to do him proud. You seem to admire Veranda a lot. Who doesn't look up to the person that's, for all intents and purposes, their father? Count Veranda made me a part of his noble house. I want to be worthy of that and uphold the ideals of the Raven Watch. And besides, I've missed my family. It makes me wonder how long he was away for. Is that Count Verontis? A soul's ability to travel among infinite planes of existence is equally boundless. Ben, what did you do? Souls Listen. can go anywhere. Imagine if they had the freedom to choose their destination, or even return to life. It's the Auromancy. We're seeing an image of the past. Hmm. Well. Off to the Orrery. Um, guess we'll fast travel here. And just run our way. Back to the orrery chamber. Hopefully not have to fight anything. <laughs> but we probably will. I'll get knocked off my mount for sure. And be hitting just all the wrong buttons all day long. Because that's also another thing I do. I'm actually pretty excited for the um, Blackwood chapter, or well, Blackwood expansion, I should probably say. Is it the Blackwood expansion or is it the Gates of Oblivion? I'm not too sure, I just know I've seen both those names. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm actually pretty... I don't know if I'm surprised that they're adding companions finally to this game or not, but I think it's an interesting choice. Kind of just wonder how the companion system is going to play out, though. Like, I feel like I'm a little bit too spoiled from SWOTOR with the whole companion system there, and that does not look good at all. But we intercepted this letter. A moment, Fenorian. The darkness has passed. Well done acquiring this letter. Never mind the pat on the back, Verandas. What happened? Yes, nothing. A distraction. Our friend has arrived, and we must not waste any time. Well... I'd like to know why that's just chilling there, but... The Dark Heart. The episodes grow more frequent. Each time the currents swell, 
It's like I'm losing myself to the darkness. We must uncover Rada's plans before that happens. Perhaps this coded message will tell us more about the Darkstorm. Can you decipher the message? I see that Rodda has employed his mother tongue to obscure the message, but I remember his language, and the Greyhost ciphers well. This... This isn't a dispatch. It's a letter... to me. Is he taunting us? No, he... He's trying to persuade me. Convince me that his path is the right one. Prove to me that the dream we once shared is within reach. The letter outlines, in essence, the recipe for Rada's dark storm. Can we use that to stop it? Not in and of itself. He wants me to follow in his footsteps. To see what he did and learn the truth of what he promises. In doing so, however, I will discover how to stop it. He's bearing his stroke to me, confident I will not bite, but I must. Where is he telling you to go? I must seek a place in the Reach where the land was sundered from Tamriel. And I must study the void through night hollow eyes. And finally, I must learn about keystones in Badar Zell. In my current state, I... <clears throat> I don't trust myself. Will you go in my stead? Um, sure, I'll take this journey in your place. I'll leave the course of the journey up to you, but these three will go ahead to assist you. Lyris to Understone Keep, Gwendis to the Night Hollow Archives, and Fenorian to the Darzel. I'll meet each of them at the appointed place. I'm sorry to put this all upon your shoulders, but it's better that I remove myself from this journey. You can see what Rada intends to show me with impartial eyes. Learn the secrets of the Darkstorm, and together, we'll unravel Rada's plans. This could be a trap. That's a distinct possibility, but I don't believe Rada intends to kill me. At least not yet. He has something to prove. That need will stay his hand better than any armor. We don't have the luxury of ignoring his invitation in any case. Why would Rodda Alceron jeopardize his plan just to prove something to you? Rodda is a prideful man. When I deserted the Grey Host, it wounded him deeply. He wants to prove that I was wrong to doubt him. What he doesn't understand is that I never doubted what he could accomplish. <clears throat> I just feared what it would cost. Are you sure it's a good idea to leave you here alone? with that. If this is a trap, you're the one walking into it. But if he does return to the orrery while you're gone, I will buy whatever time I can. Until then, there are things I also need to accomplish. What do you plan to do while we're gone? I'll study the heart and the orrery. Try to learn enough so that we can make use of whatever you discover when the time comes. I will also examine my own condition. I must ascertain that I can control this darkness and not be controlled by it. I have questions about our search. Uh, yes, of course. Rada didn't reveal everything in his letter, but if there's something I can answer for you, I will. What is this land sundered from Tamriel that you want Lyris and I to find? That one is as much a mystery to me as it is to you. But Rada provided a clue. He said it was a place in the Reach. Who better to ask about locations in this part of the world than Ard Kadok? Meet Lyris and Markarth and seek the Ard's counsel. What does he mean to study the Void through Night Hollow eyes? I can only speculate, but we know the Night Hollow clan had an intimate connection to the Void through the Dark Heart. It makes sense they studied it over the many years that it sustained them. I noticed an archive in their keep when we were there. So I should go with Gwendis to the Night Hollow archive? Yes. See what secrets they gathered at the height of their power. I only hope that the Archive has weathered the centuries better than the Night Hollow clan themselves. Where do the keystones fit into the Greyhost's plan? We know Rada needed a keystone to enter this chamber and calibrate the orrery to the Dark Heart. Go to Badar Zell. Fenorian will help you discover whatever secret awaits there concerning the Dwarven keystones. 
I don't think there's anything else to ask, but I will just ask it anyways. I had other questions. I'll answer them as best I can, but every moment we delay puts us another pace behind Rada. Alright, well. That will be it for this episode, I guess. Um, we'll continue the quest, The End of Eternity, in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and stick around for more of this Let's Play series. I hope you all have a good day and or night, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!